In this video, I'm going to teach you how to disguise your coverage in Madden 23. I'm going to explain why uh, it's really, really important to do this against the best players in the game. And i uh, going to kind of walk you through uh, some basic tips uh, for how to do this. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. If you want to get my entire uh, Nickel Over defensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. I believe that Nickel Over um, is the most consistent defense in the game. It may not be the best defense in the game, even though I think it's close. Um, there's a lot of good defenses this year. I think Big Nickel is really, really solid. I think Dollar's good. I think 146 is incredibly effective, very underrated in my opinion. Um, but I think Nickel Over is the most consistent because you can stop the run, you can stop the pass, you've got great match coverages within it. Uh, but also, um, you have a really, really good stock four down lineman pass rush. Now, um, the problem with playing a good to great defensive player is that they will uh, have an effective way to read the defense, okay? So to illustrate, uh, I'm gonna set a couple audibles here. I'm gonna throw cover six in here. I'm gonna throw quarters in here. And I just wanna show you something. So I played uh, Henry yesterday, ended up losing uh, through a D-line, couple D-line picks and didn't play my best. Uh, but Henry's obviously, I, been, I think very arguably, I don't even know if it's arguable, but probably he's at least the best man player in today's game. Uh, very potent, I mean, very good consideration to be given that he's the best man player of all time. Uh, so we matched up yesterday, so I wanted to kind of break down something that was interesting in the game. Um, I didn't know, I knew that this tell was in the game, but I didn't know how bad it really was uh, until I played Henry. Henry basically knew uh, if I was a man, he also knew if I was in match. And if I called match, he bombed it almost every time, primarily because I also didn't, I wasn't doing a great job of protecting my match defense um, and, and kind of adjusting to that. And so anyways, with that in mind, I just wanted to kind of do a video talking about defensive disguise, why it's so important. So when you're playing a really, really good player, a player like Henry, um, who can just look at the defense and know what you're in, it's really hard because he's going to have the routes to counter whatever it is you're doing. Um, it's one of the kind of like fun things, I guess, about playing a really good player is that they're going to have the tools in their box uh, to be able to counter what you're doing. It's why Henry runs bunch. It's why bunch is so good. Um, now, I'm not in the exact bunch that he was in, but I do want to show... Uh, this so uh, you'll get a free match beater in here too by the way uh, i have a bunch of ebook out we're actually getting ready to update it with some uh, with a new playbook uh, so if you want to check that out again that's in the patreon as well uh, we're dropping our 11th ebook today too for uh, in the patreon we've got uh, i think we had 10 now we have 11 so anyways if you want to check all that stuff out linked in the description 10 bucks to get you access to everything so let's take a look at this real quick so if you look at this play here i want you to i'm going to pinch my defense i want you to look uh, I'm going to pinch my defense and I want you to look at the left side. So if you notice here, you're going to, if you look at the left side, you're going to notice something about this corner. The corner is um, over the top. Now, if I, I want you to see how me doing things can change that. So if I shade outside, he doesn't move. If I shade inside, he doesn't move. If, if I uh, show blitz, that corner on the right, on the left doesn't move. He's the one player really that doesn't move. Um, another thing is, let me show you this. So what if I base a line and then pinch my defense? Look where he's at now. Now he's outside. If I show blitz out of this though, look where he's at. Okay. So you notice how that corner on the left, um, the solo receiver side corner is kind of the key, um, to your defense. Now, if you look at this, well, if you notice here, this is a unbased aligned pressed, uh, play. So you see here. He doesn't, or he he looks like he's moved to the inside. If I audible to cover four quarters and pinch the defense, watch what happens. You see how he's not as inside. If I man manually man him up, watch what he's going to do. You see here, if I manually man up the player, this is also important, which is going to lead me to my next point in just a second. So I'm in quarters. It, it's obvious, and the and the obvious thing is that the cornerback on the left side is a little bit more, uh, he's basically directly over the top. If it's man to man, he's gonna be inside, okay? So you'll see here, uh, cover six. Cover six actually does look a little different. You see that he's to the outside now. So that's basically the big thing. Now, again, if I man him up, manually he doesn't move. Last year he would move, he doesn't move this year. But if I audible to man, watch what happens. There he is, boom. Now, another thing is, watch what happens when I shade outside in man coverage. He moves outside, 
okay? So this is the basic reasoning that every time I was in match, Henry knew it, and every time I was in man, Henry knew it, and he could put routes on the field that really attacked me uh, defensively. So here's my proposal, and here's how, uh, moving forward, I just think it makes a lot of sense. So it doesn't really matter if you come out in man or zone. I mean, it does matter to a degree, but it, it's not the big, the main thing. The main thing is if we come out in quarters, at this point right here, this looks like match, and it is match. But what we can do is a couple things. We can go ahead and actually make our man coverage look like this. Here's how. So we're going to call man, and before we do anything, we're going to shade outside, and then we're going to pinch. And I want you to look at the guy on the left. He looks very similar to what he what he was uh, in zone. And we'll do it again. Cover four quarters. You see here, if I pinch, you see that he kind of looks about the same. This is a very little minor thing, but when you're playing the best in the world, these are the things that they pick up on. Now, another thing I hope that you caught in this is man-to-man. -man. So if I come out in Overstorm Brave, and let's say that I shade my coverage outside, then um, you see, well, it's already shaded outside. So it, let me show you something else that I think is interesting. So if I come out and cover four quarters, right? Let's say I shade my coverage outside. I've globally shaded them outside. Then I audible to Overstorm Brave. Watch what happens. You see he doesn't go inside. That's another little quick tip. So when you shade coverage, the shade is going to still register even though you, um, you have gone from zone to man. Okay, so your tell's not quite as there. Uh, if I shade inside, I want you to watch the corner on the left. You're going to watch this. So I'm going to shade inside. He's going to move inside. This is what he normally looks like. So if I come back out in quarters and I press, watch where he's going to go. You see how he goes to where he was beforehand? But if I audible to man, watch now. Now you see on the left, he's more inside. Okay, so you see kind of how this is an issue. Now, this isn't just going to apply uh, to bunch formations. It actually applies to pretty much everything, uh, pretty much everything. So you'll see here, I'm going to move the ball over here now, and I want to show you trips tied in because uh, that's what I run. I like trips tied in the best, um, but there's obviously a lot of really good offenses. We've tried to break down everything for you in the Patreon so that you can run what you want. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to come out of this, and we're going to come out in – uh, da, da, da. let me put a zone, just like a basic cover three in here. Uh, but we're going to come out in this. So I'm in cover four quarters. Okay. So now I want you to look at the right side or the, the left sideline again. So I'm going to pinch my defense. If you look at that corner on the left side, um, that's over Devontae Adams, you're going to see that he's outside of him. But if I audible to man coverage, I want you to watch what happens. I audible to man coverage. Look at him. You see how he's just to the inside. He's slightly shaded to the inside. If I shade him outside, watch what happens to the, see how both corners, both press corners, they move, okay? So that's important. So now uh, I'm gonna reshade them back to the inside, which is their natural perspective, their natural positioning. And then I'm gonna audible to cover four quarters. You'll notice when I audible, it literally looks like that outside cornerback is shaded outside. But watch this, I'm gonna shade outside and then I'm gonna audible to man. And what you'll see here is it looks basically the same. Uh, on the left side, okay, to the quarterback anyway. At least very cl it's it's much, much more difficult to tell that than what I was doing. So essentially, what am I getting at? What's the point? When you audible from a man or a zone play to a man play, if you want to hide your tell, this is what I would recommend. It's a little hard to show in practice mode. Uh, I'll show you a match beater here in just a second because I did say I was going to do that. Uh, but if I come out in this, this is what they see at the snap. What I was doing was I was audibly to Overstone Brave and then I was pressing. Do you see the see the corner move? See the corner on the left move? What I needed to be doing was this. I needed to be here. Then I needed to first shade outside and then audible. And you see it doesn't move. See that? Now he moved a little bit to tell that I audibled, but you wouldn't know if I audible to cover four quarters or cover three. Let me show you. So here's cover four quarters. Now I'm going to audible and then move. And you see I audible to cover four quarters and it basically looks very, very similar, okay? Now here's your free match beater. Uh, this is just something, this wasn't what Henry was running on me. Uh, he was actually using another playbook, like I said. They might have used this setup uh, though when we played. But anyways, all you're gonna do is streak this guy. Just streak circle. If they're in match, just streak circle. So again, if I wanted to do that, 
you see i mean it, it's very it's very hard to tell i mean you it, you might there still might be a little bit of a tell there but it's definitely nothing to what it was com what it was compared to what it you know what's happening before so anyways here it is um you just streak that guy and pass lead up now i wouldn't leave you without a counter so we'll show you a counter so the counter to this and this is something we cover in our match ebook the counter to this beater is to deep half the safety that's on the bunch side so you see here same thing and now it's not open see that see the deep halves there now the counter to the counter is this is basically the call um so if we get something like this then what we want to do offensively is go to something like curl flat motion this guy out and that deep half is supposed to match r1 but he's in a deep half so he's not gonna okay so the counter to the counter to the counter <laughs> hopefully you're enjoying this little chess match here but this is literally a, a big deal on bunch um if you're defending bunch which bunch is i think bunch is gonna be the number one offense i don't know if it already is but i do believe it's going to be the number one offense this year so i deep half right if they motion out with this specific playbook it's hard for them to bomb me so what i'm going to do is as soon as they motion out i'm just going to re inside quarter and th this will do a better job it doesn't completely bag the corner but it does a much better job of driving on the corner as you can see so that's a little bit of the chess match now why is this important well it's also important for something else we're going to cover with the backside receiver so the backside receiver uh one of the best ways to beat man to man is to run a c route but if i'm in match um you know shaded outside for example uh, it might still cook here because it's Devonte. but you see my guy plays it fairly well so if i know you're in match or if i know whatever right i might not want to do that however if i know you're in man and i know that you did a shade to the outside guess what i can do offensively i'll just throw a quick slant quick slant quick wheel put defenders in conflict throw the ball right there and we're rolling and this literally uh was what happened i mean this was literally a uh, textbook of how henry uh you know kicked my butt the other day so you see how this is going on now what if i did this though what if i did um you know uh, i shaded outside and then i did this boom now it's harder to tell that i'm in man to man and if you wanted to go with a play like this my shaded outside guy is going to do a little better job obviously you need abilities and all that but he's going to do a little better job of defending that because you thought maybe i was a match so that's kind of some of the back and forth chess match at a high level why it's really important defensively to understand and again it's a little harder to show in practice mode you'll see it a little bit more in game you really should what i would even recommend come out base aligned watch what happens when i audible to man nobody moves and then i can go ahead and make my adjustment to shade outside nobody moves and then i can unbaseline and boom and you see how the corners on the left and the corner on the right they're not giving any super any tell so what i like to do uh what i've also been doing is coming out base aligned and then making a quick shade and then maybe audibling um to what i want to run so that it, it looks like i'm just it looks like i'm just on base aligning but i'm doing a little bit i'm doing one other thing right i'm shading outside um you know and you'll see here like if i audible to cover six shade outside um you see here on the left it it, it looks better okay it's not it's not 100 percent perfect but it's much more disguised than it was prior no, this was a longer video kind of got a little bit into the weeds on some stuff i hope this was helpful if you like videos like this let me know and if you want to learn if you, if you see the detail we go into here on the channel you can only imagine the amount of detail that we go into in our ebooks so if you want to grab the ebooks make sure you join our patreon um, 10 bucks get you access to everything all the updates and all the new ebooks uh whenever they come out as long as your membership's active uh, again link is in the description if you want to check it out